2016 was dominated with hits like Captain America Civil War and Rogue One A Star Wars Story, among many others. With these hits pulling in the majority of the box office take for the year, it's easy to miss some of the films that came out in between. While they may not have made as much money as others in 2016, these five films are some of the best of the year. The Witch is an indie film shown at a 2015 film festival that wasn't released until 2016, and it's likely you missed it due to its relatively limited release. The story takes place in the mid-17th century in New England, where a man named William is threatened with banishment from the Puritan plantation, so he takes his family and moves to the outskirts near a forest, where strange and malevolent things begin to happen almost immediately. The children insist that the family's goats speak to them, and various items begin to go missing. The film develops quickly into a horrific tale of witchcraft, but explores the themes of devout Christianity coming to terms with witchcraft and the devil himself. The Witch is both an incredibly well-made horror film and a religious exploration about the fear of God and the influence of evil. Krisha was met with massive critical success when it was released, though few people saw it. Having made less than $155,000 at the box office, it might be a surprise to end up on a list like this, but the movie was so well received, this list wouldn't be complete without it. Krisha is based off a short film of the same name and was funded via a Kickstarter campaign aiming to raise only 10 grand. The story is about a woman in her 60s named Krisha who has battled drug and alcohol addictions her entire adult life and has become estranged from her family. She reaches out to her family claiming to be sober and offers to make a Thanksgiving dinner for them. While some see her as reformed, others are far more dubious, and the family conflicts that arise make for a riveting story of drama and compassion. It's rare that a big budget animated film would make it on a list of movies you might have missed through the year, but there has been some serious animated competition in 2016 with the release of Finding Dory, Zootopia, and a few others. Those films were excellent, but if you saw them instead of sitting down and watching Kubo and the Two Strings, you have done yourself a disservice. Kubo and the Two Strings is a 3D stop-motion animated film about a young man named Kubo who has magical powers and a missing left eye. He goes on an adventure with the monkey and beetle that take the audience on a wonderful ride through ancient Japan. The film was highly rated by the majority of critics and is a must-see for anyone who loves animated adventures appealing to all ages. Sing Street is an Irish musical comedy film about a young man who starts a band to impress a girl. After meeting the young lady in his new school, he tells her he needs a model for the music video he is shooting with his band, which he then goes on to form with his friends. They develop a romance as the band strays into success and develops several original songs. This all happens amid family difficulties and the inevitable relationship issues expected in this type of film. Sing Street was extremely well received by critics and has achieved a great deal of success internationally. The film incorporates the musical aspect alongside comedy to provide a wonderful film everyone should definitely see. The accompanying soundtrack is also a must hear and truly captures the themes of the movie, even earning a nomination for Best Song in the Critics' Choice Awards. Manchester by Sea was a late release in 2016 having its wide release on December 16th, but many people missed out due to the release of Rogue One that same week. The film stars Casey Affleck, Gretchen Mull, and others in a story of loss and pain revolving around a young man whose father recently deceased. Take a box of tissues with you when you check out this wonderful story, which has been described as being incredibly sad by the star. Though the subject matter is sad and at times very depressing, that shouldn't deter anyone from seeing this beautiful film which has been incredibly well received among critics all over the world. The film has been nominated for dozens of awards, still pending with several wins already under its belt. Manchester by Sea is quite possibly the best picture of the year.